Hello everyone, welcome to Rosie's Tips. Today I'm going to show you how to do upper and lower extremity strengthening. Now we're going to work the upper uh, body and the lower body just on the floor. Remember to do stretches before starting this. Refer to my videos, morning stretches, that will show you how to stretch um, any t uh, stretches, how to do stretches laying down or standing up before starting this, okay? So we're going to start, I think it's about six exercises, might be a little bit more, but we're going to start just laying on our stomach, and this is a simple plank. So hands like this, you can't see my feet, but what you're going to do, let me move forward so I can show you, you're going to curl your toes in, Okay, and you're going to just lift your whole body in the plank position and you're going to hold this. Okay, hold it as long as you can. Now, if you want to advance this, you lift one leg just a couple of inches off the floor and then you alternate. Okay, like that. Bring your butt just a little higher if your lower back is hurting. If you're like this and your lower back is hurting, just bring your butt up a little bit higher and they'll help you. Okay? Let me go back. Always remember to have your, your elbow aligned to your shoulder when doing it all the time. Okay? So that's one. Now, we're going to get up on our hands and knees. And again, do as many reps uh, do the plank, hold that for about 30 seconds to a minute or longer. Hold it as long as you can. Stop, rest, and do as many as you want. That's up to you. You could do as many repetitions as you want. The next one is, all these are easy to do, but they do give you a workout. The next one, you're going to bring your hands like this. And you're going to align your elbow to your shoulder. Make sure it's in a straight position, okay? And you're going to bring your two hands touching your fingers and your thumbs like this and make, forming a diamond on the floor. You're going to bring your feet slightly up. And you could put one ankle over the other one, crisscrossing them. Let me get in a straighter position. And you're going to bring your, your elbows halfway down, keeping your nose and mouth right in the center of that diamond. Halfway down, don't touch the floor, and push up. So if you're doing this like I am, correct with the proper body mechanics, you're going to feel this. Do as many as you can. You're going to feel it right in your bicep and your tricep muscles if you get to that burning sensation that means it's working keep going and do as many as you can okay next one you're going to separate your hands shoulder width and you're going to uncross your feet and look at my um knees and my hip is in a straight uh, line. Make sure you stay aligned like that. If you do them in front of a mirror, that's really good. The next one, you're going to bring one leg out behind you, up in the air, straight, and the opposite hand. Again, you're going to hold this as long as you can. You're going to hold it for, I don't know, a minute or more. Uh, you're going to stop. And then do it again. Do as many reps as you want or you can. Now we're going to do the opposite side. And you're going to hold that as long as you can. And again, do as many reps as you like. Your head's always going to be like this. Don't go up because you do not want to, uh, you want to stay and keep your back aligned. Okay? Very good. Now from this position, we're going to go, let's see, we did, this would be the one, two, three. We're going to do the fourth one. You're going to bring one foot out behind you and on your toes. 
keep your hands right where they're at, and then the other one. So now you're going to do um, right, uh, plank with straight arm. Let me move forward. So you can see my feet, one toe like this. The other one meets it side by side. Now you're doing another plank, but it's straight arm plank. Again, one leg up, the other one, and you keep doing these as many as you can, as long as you, as you can hold it, okay? Bring your knees down, hands back. I'm gonna throw a little stretch in between just because it's always good to stretch. Curl your toes in, but up in the air. Push your head between your shoulders and stretch. Always really, really good to stretch. Oh, that's a whole body stretch. And try to keep your feet flat on the floor when you're doing that. Oh, that feels so, so good. You can bring one knee in and bend, and it'll stretch the back of your leg. More. Very good. Remember, stretching is always good between exercises. Okay, the next one is we're going to lay on the side. And there's two different ones that I'm going to show you for strengthening lower and upper extremity. You're going to bring your arm down. Make sure your elbow and your shoulder are aligned in the straight position like this. And you're going to straighten the top leg and bend the bottom one and align the two knees. Make sure one knee is on top of the other. You're gonna just, you can use this hand too, and push off the floor and lift your hip up and bring the arm up in the air. So now you're doing the side plank. This is a beginner side plank, okay? You could turn around and do the other side as well, but before we do that, I'm gonna show you the advanced plank. Both legs straight, arm like this, aligned shoulder and elbow. I'm gonna move up so you can see my foot, my feet. Okay, the top foot's gonna be in front of the back one. Keep them like this, flat. Again, push off of the floor, lift your hip, and up you go. Now you're doing the side plank, and you hold this as long as you can 30 seconds to a minute or longer. Come down, rest, and you do it again. I'm gonna turn around and do the other side. This is a beginner. Bend the bottom, top leg straight, and lift. The advance is both legs straight, top foot in front of the and the top foot goes in front of the bottom leg, and you go up. And you hold that as long as you can. Come down, and you could do more. Now, that's the side plank. Now we're going to do the reverse plank. And all this is working your upper extremities and your lower extremities. I do a lot. I could do a lot of push-ups. I could do a lot of the side plank. I could do hold it for a long time, come down, rest, and do some more. Now, this is a reverse plank. You're going to put two hands behind you. You're going to keep your feet together. Let me move back so you can see my feet. Bring your feet together. So all the weight's going to be on your hands and your heels, okay? So you're going to bring your hips up towards the ceiling. You're going to look with your head up towards the ceiling, and you're going to, it's like you're forming a straight line. Bring one leg up. Oh, hold it, hold it. And then you could alternate. Oh, these are really, really hard for me, too. And you could keep doing that and alternating, okay? That's the reverse plank. I'm a little tired because I was working out earlier, too. Okay, so that's the reverse plank. Um... I think it's like six that I showed you. Let me see, let me think. It was the plank. Then we got on our hands and knees and did push-ups. 
Then we did the alternating hand and leg. So that was one, two, three. And then we did the um, straight arm plank, four. And then we did the side plank, five. And then we did the reverse plank, six. So I'm gonna review them really quick for you, okay? Plank. Push-ups. Separate hands. Opposite leg, opposite hand. Curl toes in. Oops, I'm sorry. Bring one foot back. Plank. And we threw that little stretch in there. Now we're doing the side plank, both legs straight, top foot in front, push up, and we did the reverse plank, feet together, hands behind you, all the way to your heels, you can lift one leg, there you go, we did upper and lower extremity. Let me get lower, upper and lower extremity strengthening. Remember to do stretches before starting this again. Refer to my morning stretches. Always stretch, stay healthy, exercise, move, stretch. I showed you how you simply, you could do everything at home and you could do it on the floor. It's not a lot of hard work. And please subscribe to my video. If you like it, give me a thumbs up and continue watching all the tips that I'll try to bring to you guys. Thank you.